What is going on you guys, AK40 Kevin here in the Gamer Heaven and today I'm doing a review of a mouse that I've wanted to review for ages. It has been my daily driver and has been extremely reliable. It is the Wireless Ambidextrous Razor Lancehead Tournament. Let's get it. Alrighty guys, over here at the Stormtrooper desktop, as always, I'm going to go ahead and slide myself in here so we can review this sweet, sweet mouse. Alright, so I have three Razer products, a um, bit of a Razer fanboy, I mean they make really quality products for the price, so I have the Nari Ultimates, I have the, um, uh, what is this bad boy, the Black Widow uh, mechanical keyboard, and then of course the Razer Lancehead um, mouse over here. So, the main reason I mention that is because they are all tuned up with the same RGB effects, what they call their RGB chroma. So, the headphones are dead right now, but as you can see, there's like a, it's called Fireplace. So it's got a real cool little Fireplace vibe to it. Looks pretty sweet, if I do say so myself. So I have two mice that I constantly switch off of, depending on what kind of game I'm playing and just how I'm feeling that day. I have the Lancehead, which was my sole mouse, only mouse for a long time. And this is wireless, ambidextrous, and it's also a compact design. It's not like a super compact travel mouse, but it's also uh, pretty shaved down here on the top. And for somebody that has average hands, I'm 5'11", uh, it, it's a little small for my taste, um, especially when I switch over to this from what I've been running recently, which is the 2-Act Venom X4, which comes with this little controller here, and it basically allows you to still use a mouse uh, while using this bad boy. Um, it's really cool for like shooting games and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> so, that will be getting reviewed a separate day. But as for the Lancehead here, so battery life is pretty decent. Um, I, I would say I can usually get two to three days out of it uh, with, you know, six to eight hours of daily use. I love the chroma effects on there. We'll go through the software in a little bit here. You have uh, two buttons on top, which adjust your DPI on the fly, which is really cool. You can have up to, uh, what is it, one, two, three, four, five, six, five different presets for DPI, which you can set yourself. So if you're doing some sniping or something like that, you can turn your DPI down and get a real precise feel. Or if you need to be playing twitchy, you can increase it. Scroll wheel feels excellent. There's also RGB on the scroll wheel as well. I don't know if you guys can see that with my bright ass halo ring on, but yeah. Uh, it also has a really nice ribbed rubberized texture. Feels really nice. Obviously, uh, this is customized to match my Stormtrooper theme, so you're not gonna get one that looks like this. Um, but it, it was uh, brushed silver. I'll have a picture of what a stock one looks like. It was brushed silver on the top. Really handsome look. It's got these lined, uh, rubber pads on the side, which are actually pretty grippy and pretty soft, comfortable on the hand. You have two buttons on each side, but these are not, uh, you can't program them to separate mappings. This is just for ambidextrous use. So, you know, whatever this button is, is going to be this one over here um, and vice versa. So, you know, just keep that in mind. You do only have two additional game buttons here. I do think that they are pretty sleek, but because they're kind of almost tucked in underneath that shell, it can be a little difficult to hit them at times, um, but honestly, once you get used to it, it's it. you can pretty cleanly know what button you're pressing. Uh, these are also good for web browsing, you know, back and forward pages, um, which is pretty standard. So, like I said, battery life is pretty good. The only issue I've had personally is uh, using it wirelessly, which, you know, that's kind of a major deal because it's a wireless mouse. So, up underneath this little case here, you get this little dongle which I have plugged into my top 3.0 port up here. Get back in the hole. There we go. So you can use this wired, uh, but the cord that you have to use it with is proprietary, so it's only for this mouse, and if you lose it, you need to get another one. Um, I'll show you that now. It's micro USB, but because of the shape of it, here we go. So it's only micro USB, which is not a rare, uh, you know, um, plug type, but it's definitely an interesting shape because it's got these little slots on each side, which slide in right up underneath the scroll wheel like that. Um, so it sits flush 
and I have yet to find another micro USB that will actually work with this. You kind of need this cable, so don't lose it or ruin it because you'll have to get a new one. Stock skates are really good. They do make aftermarket skates for these for pretty inexpensive. You can get them on Amazon. Uh, but honestly, like I said, the stock skates glide really well. They have a decent weight to them. Um, primarily when I'm using this mouse, I like to claw grip just because it, it, it's so small, light, and nimble. Uh, but you can palm grip it just fine. And overall, I mean, I have no complaints with this mouse. The only thing, like I said, is uh, with the wireless connectivity, every once in a while, it'll just get a random sh uh, stutter or shutter across the screen uh, like it's losing connectivity, which is bizarre because, you know, I'm plugged into USB 3.0. I've tried it on 2.0 and 3.0, and it still does it, so I'm not really sure. But it doesn't happen as frequently as it was originally uh, after I did the firmware update for it. So that did help a lot, but it still happens every once in a while. So if you're in an actual you know, game, an online competitive game, and that happens, it might fuck you up and you might get killed. You know, for web browsing and just daily use, it's really not a huge deal because you can just go back and forth a couple times and it wakes itself back up, but a little bit frustrating. So overall, ergonomics, really good, feels great in the hand. Software support's fantastic, we'll go over that in a minute. And durability, fantastic. I mean, I've traveled with this to three different states, I've dropped this, I've played hundreds of hours with this bad boy, no issues whatsoever. So, you know, those are the three things that I really am critical of when I do product reviews for game peripherals, whether they're headsets, game controllers, keyboards, whatever, is, you know, the software support, so the integration between the hardware and the software, the ergonomics, so how does it feel on your head or in your hand, and uh, long-term durability, is it gonna last? Because most of these products are a little pricey. Alrighty guys, over here at my desktop, I'll share my screen, but I won't share my wife. All right, we are inside the Razer Synapse 3 app. This is the application that you are going to use in order to, let's turn that shit off, in order to control all of your capabilities and features of your Razer product. So we have the Lance head over here, We're gonna go ahead and click on it. Now, the first tab is customize. This lets you remap all of your uh, buttons and you also have a hyper shift mode which basically gives you an entire new set of uh, available mapping so you can set hyper shift to a button on here and then once you press that it'll change up your configuration you can also save onboard profiles that's a really cool feature because if you're going to be taking this somewhere where you don't have you know your computer you're just going to be plugging it into your friend's desktop or something like that um, you have onboard profiles saved, which is really cool. As for performance over here, like I said earlier, you can have five different DPIs and it goes all the way up to 16,000. I don't know what anybody is doing with a DPI that high. Um, most professional gamers usually play between 1,500 and 3,000. Um, so I have mine, you know, you can see my presets here. And as you press the top buttons on there, as you can see, I'm scrolling through uh, on the fly, which is really cool. So for basic web browsing, I usually keep it at 22 or 3000 if I'm feeling froggy. Uh, if you don't want sensitivity stages and you just want one that you always use, you can do that. And if you don't want five stages, you only need two or three, you can do that. And then uh, polling rate, I've messed around with this a little bit, but 500 and 1000 both seem to be the best. That's uh, basically how quickly the mouse communicates with your PC. Uh, click here if you want to get your, you know, integrated Windows support. Now over here is your lighting effects. I keep brightness uh, usually at 100 unless uh, it's very dark in my room and the RGB is just a little bit evasive, invasive. Um, I do like it to turn off with the monitor and when it's not been played with for uh, about three minutes. And then you have your all your stock effects here. I'm not going to go through these because if you've ever watched a Razer product review, which I have a ton, by the way, um, they all the Razer products have these pre-built in here and they're pretty self-explanatory. Um, so adv advanced effects over here, I've got fireplace, Captain America, which is a sweet ass uh, effect that looks like, you know, a red, white, and blue shield that goes out of the keyboard into the mouse, into the headphones, it looks awesome. Um, you can download these actually. Um, I didn't design it or anything like that, but through Chroma Studio, which is part of this Synapse suite here. You just click on Chroma Studio and you can download um, third-party uh, lighting effects that users in the community have made. It's pretty cool. Calibration, you can set this up for different um, different 
mouse pads, which is really cool if you have something that has a unique surface. I just keep mine on default because whatever. Now, power. Uh, power saving over here. Like I said, enter sleep mode and blink the LED when the power is below 15%. You can set that between 5 and 15. As you see up here, my battery life is at 91. No, you can't see that because my head's in the way. Let's, let's move Kevin out of the way. 91%. All right, so really good software support. And uh, as far as support, their customer support's actually really good too. Um, if you ever need to contact them or anything like that, they're very easy to get a hold of. You can do live chat, send them an email, or just talk to them on the phone, which is really, really cool. Now, in addition to Razer products, you can also link other companies such as MSI, Philips Hue Lights. Uh, there's another company that makes custom lights. Um, Ooh, I can't think of it right now, but they also connect with this. So you can basically have your entire room, like you see the lights behind me or whatever. I can coordinate those to be doing the same dance with my peripherals, which is pretty damn cool. So, so in conclusion, guys, whew, hot diggity damn, really good mouse, great durability, really good ergonomics, especially if you have smaller hands. But even if you have average size hands, you can make this work, especially if you're a clog grip player. Love the RGB lights on it. I think the side buttons are really sleek. I think the whole overall design looks fantastic, especially mine. I mean, that's just pimped out. Um, but yeah, I, I love this thing, honestly. And even if it dies, you can just plug it in wirelessly. It has the um, eight foot braided cable. So, you know, I, don't, I really don't mind playing with it wired at all. Um, my other primary mouse is wired and doesn't really get in the way. Uh, you can always get what's called a mouse cord bungee. I'll have a link to that in the description below, as well as the lance head here. And they're really inexpensive. Uh, they've dropped tremendously in price. And you can also get Amazon refurbished ones or even used ones from third parties on Amazon for 40, 50, 60 bucks. I bought this about almost a year ago for I think like 60 bucks and it's it's held up a lot it's great all right guys peace